Welcome to the Startup Superhero Series. I'm Heidi Hubling of Stubbs Alderton and Markley's Pre-Celerator Program. Today we're featuring Andrew Cheeseman. Andrew is one of our alumni companies uh, with Team U uh, from 2012, from our very first class of companies here at the Pre-Celerator. So welcome, Andrew. Good, good to have you here. <laughs> Thanks, Heidi. So we want to talk a little bit about your entrepreneurial journey today. So what made you take the wild leap into entrepreneurship? Well, I've been interested in uh, being a creator of things for a long time. Um, uh, and also I'm interested in impact, so areas that have a lot of impact, and, uh, and my particular passions for mind-body health and community and connectedness. And so I was really excited about creating something that could incorporate all of these together. What, what are some of your favorite things? What do you really love about it? Uh, well, apart from those things, um, so the, the, the creation, the impact, and the, the passions, uh, I have some interests as well. So I love people and, and, and what you can do with connecting people. Uh, and I love creating, uh, creating systems. So my belief is that you can't really grow unless you can delegate, and you can't really delegate unless you have a system in place. So uh, I just love that stuff. That's really uh, I think that, that uh, it's one of those lessons that I think that we all learned that it's one of those things that can drives us to success is the organization being able to create those systems right. uh, in place to get you to that next level. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about Team U. Um, tell me, talk to us about uh, what Team U is and uh, along the journey that you went through with Team U, what was your proudest moment? Okay. Uh, so Team U is a system that addresses one of the issues that is happening in schools. Um, and it's widespread. So um, the problem is around learning and, uh, and, and apathy and teacher retention. And, and these are all interrelated. So TNU is a system that addresses those by creating a culture of empathy versus apathy. Um, and it does it, it's a software-based system where students earn points for things like empathy and kindness and service. Um, and, uh, and you asked about one of my proudest yeah, moments. What are you most proud of? Um, I think my proudest moment was when we got our first school up and running, um, just seeing those points seeing those points roll in and realizing that whereas the normal was whereas the norm in the industry is about 15 percent user adoption we had 98 percent user adoption i was very proud of that you guys really entered a time in the market where you could really make a difference um, and it was before there was legislation involved that required incentive-based learning or positive um, reinforcement and that really yeah, you really had an impactful start. Exactly, it, it, it was. In fact, we, as of the end of last semester, we had 30,000 students enrolled and who were collectively engaged in the system for 2.2 million hours per month. Wow, that's very, very, very exciting. Yeah. So you've had those successes, and then along your uh, full entrepreneurial journey, um, what's an important lesson that you What's something that you can give back as a lesson for wisdom to other entrepreneurs? So, so I think the biggest lesson is, uh, although, is, is this lesson around empathy. So my company is based on empathy, which gave me a particular lens to look at not just my customers, but the actual business. Uh, and what I came to realize is how deep the importance of empathy is. Uh, not only for customers, of course, and understanding what their journey is, but also for employees, um, empathy for developers. So meaning when I develop something new for the software, I'm thinking about everything, everyone who will have to in, uh, interact with that change, customer service, investors, empathy for, um, you know, empathy for, the, for everybody who's involved. So, uh, it's, uh, I think the big learning ultimately is that if you look at a business through the lens of empathy, you can discover things that you never knew existed. And it's one of many lenses, of course, but uh, empathy is the, is the interesting learning that I got from this experience. Yeah, I think that's so important when it comes to, I mean, just even on the practical aspects of product development. Yeah. You mentioned about how users are going to use the platform or how um, on the 
empathy on the side of investors or on the side of other strategic partners that you're going to have, um, other team team members, right? Your your, your core uh, um, employees and, and the core team. I think that that's uh, such a foundational um, characteristic. It is. If and and just to take like the customer service ex example, uh, empathy for the customer service staff is critical because done done the right way. If, 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 if we position the customer service role in the right way to customers and investors and partners and everybody else, then that role, rather than just being a supporting role, becomes the critical role. Um, and so that means that that, that that job is really satisfying because you're executing and, and, and carrying out a really important role. But it has to, you know, it only happens if there's empathy for the person in that role or people in that role. Okay, very, very important. Yeah. Um, and finally, uh, going back to the pre-accelerator, so you were you know, early, early on in the pre-accelerator program, but what is one of the greatest values that a program like the pre-accelerator has had for you? Right, so there, there are, of course, many different values. I mean, from a place to have meetings to the expert uh, legal advice, um, but I would say that probably the biggest one is uh, the impact that other that that mentors have had on on me so I've gotten some amazing ideas and feedback and support from some of the mentors so yeah. that in a nutshell yeah they're, they're a core uh, value of this program I mean they, it wouldn't work without them so um, we really appreciate you being here and I uh, hope to see you guys next time at the startup superhero series <laughs>